Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First up, I'm going to start by priming the skin using the Spashbox Photo Finish Primer on my Vanity Planet foundation brush. Then for foundation, I'm using MAC Studio Fix in the shade NC37. She did have a fake tan, so obviously I'm matching this to her body and not to her face. I'm using the Bake Precision by Sigma, which is amazing. I've been loving this brush so much lately to apply foundation. It's really dense and it's just an amazing brush. It reminds me so much of the F80 but just an angled version which can be better sometimes to work with. To conceal and highlight the face I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral and I'm just going to apply that with a regular concealer brush underneath the eye area down the center of the face and also on the eyelids as well as an eyeshadow base. Then I'm going to spritz some Fix Plus by MAC Cosmetics on the face before I go in and blend out that concealer and just to add some hydration back into the face. I'm using a damp beauty blender to help blend out that concealer. To set that concealer, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to take that shade Vanilla and just press that into the skin just to ensure the concealer does not crease throughout the day. To set the rest of the face, I'm using my Astralis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in the shade Darkest Brown. To fill in the brows, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Palette. Now, she didn't want her eyebrows to be too bold because she's not really used to wearing makeup at all. So I did go with the shade Caramel. But of course, you could use the shade Auburn, which is what I would usually kind of turn to for someone with this hair color. Now, I'm just filling in any sparse areas and running with her natural brow shape that she has and just defining and extending the brows. To clean up the brows and to also highlight the brow bone, I'm using my Studio Fix Concealer in the shade NC15 on my Vanity Planet Concealer Brush. To bronze, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to take that shade Havana and just warm up the face anywhere the sun would naturally hit. So the cheekbones, the forehead, the nose and the jawline. Using that same Anastasia palette, I'm going to take that color fawn and contour the face, mainly focusing this on her cheekbones and her temples. Picking up that same palette again and I'm going to take that banana shade and just highlight underneath her cheekbones. For blush, I'm using Milani's Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze. For highlighter, I'm using Soft and Gentle by MAC Cosmetics. Moving on to eyes, I'm picking up Cocoa Bear on a tapered blending brush and I'm just going to diffuse this colour on the outer portion of the eyes. Using that same Baked Blush by Milani, I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow and pack this all over the mono lid. To deepen the eyes, I'm picking up Mocha by Makeup Geek and just blending that into the outer portions of the eyes using a fluffy blending brush. Using a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges so there's no harsh lines. Dipping back into Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek, I'm going to take a small pencil brush and just run that underneath the lower lash line. 
Using Soft and Gentle by MAC, I'm going to place that onto the inner corners of the eyes and also the brow bone. Using Maybelline Gel Liner in Blackest Black, I'm going to place that in the lower waterline and also the upper lash line. Using a black eyeshadow, this one is Corrupt by Makeup Geek. I'm just using a flat definer brush and I'm going to smoke out that upper and lower lash line. Now taking Mocha by Makeup Geek, I'm just going to blend out that lower lash line. Then I just applied some false lashes. These are by Model Rock. I'll leave the number listed down below in the description box. For mascara, I used the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced Cosmetics and just coated the upper and lower lashes. To line the lips, I used Subculture by MAC Cosmetics. For lipstick, I used Flesh Pot by MAC Cosmetics on my Vanity Planet lip brush. And then I just went back in with Subculture to line the lips again just to give the illusion that the lips are bigger than what they actually are. Then lastly, I just spritzed the face using Fix Plus by MAC Cosmetics to set everything down. So this brings us to the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget that I do list everything in the description box down below. And and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Oh, you make me want to talk back Talk back to you Say you say it like that If I hate you, then find someone new Baby, but you know